So some of you are probably wondering what the difference is between these folded tires. You can find a lot of folded tires and these old tires, right? So this is an old tire. So this is not a folding tire. You see it's not quite as flexible there. It's not quite as flexible on the edges. But there is actually very little difference. You can't actually tell any difference if you feel them. You see, this is a folded white wall tire. You can see it's very flexible, it's very bendy. But you cannot tell any difference if you feel the rubber. It feels very different. And the one behind it on that wheel is the exact same tire as that one in the frame there. So it looks a little bit out misshapen on the edges, look. But there is actually no difference in quality. In fact, the folded tires are actually more expensive to buy than the normal tires. And this is a folded tire. Well, this is a premium quality tire, which costs two or three dollars more than the normal tire. And the reason why they can be sent out cheaper to you is because they don't take up as much space when you post them, right? I've got, if I want to post the tire on the right, I've got to put it in a big box, which costs more. But this one, I can fold it up. You can see it's just folded up there. You might like fold it into a half moon, and then you can bend it out. And it's very bendy, unlike the other tire. Unlike the other tire, you can't tell the difference by feeling it. It doesn't feel any different at all. There's no difference in thickness, you know, they're both the same. And this tire is actually more expensive than the other tire to, to manufacture. It's not more expensive to send to the customer because you can fold it up, you see. But there's actually no difference if you stand them side by side. They're both new tires, those. You can't actually tell any difference. Even by feel, you can't tell any difference at all. In the thickness, it feels exactly the same. So, I mean, when you're going for a quality tyre, it doesn't matter if it's folded or a normal tyre. They're all different qualities. You just try and get a high quality one. The white wall tyres are good quality tyres as well. But you can't tell any difference if you're just feeling them. The, the folded tyres are just a little bit more flexible. As you can see, I'm trying to. There's absolutely no difference at all. It's interesting how one of them is more flexible, but you can't tell the difference. It's very weird. It's a very weird thing to explain. You know, you can you can actually roll these up yourself. Like you don't have to. Once they're on, once they're unfolded, you can fold them back again. They're very flexible. You like fold it into this half moon. Once you get it into this half moon, you can just. Roll it up and you see him fighting with the tire, and obviously, it's not going to go well when you do it on camera. You can get it into that like half moon shape, and you can just you just roll it up. You no, know, it doesn't affect the consistency of the tire at all. Apparently, according to the manufacturer, the, these have got bendy wires in the, in the sides of the tires that you know give it that flex. That's what they told me. I mean, you can't see any wires when you look at them, uh, I don't know. Same for the other tire, you know, you can fold these up and it looks as though it's hurting the tire, but it doesn't actually, you know, it's actually designed to do that, it's designed to bend and flex. I mean, obviously, if you do this 200 times, I mean, that's not going to help, but you know, you're just doing it a couple of times. And you see, you just get it into that half moon and just roll it up. And what I do is I just Put some cling film on it, that's what I do. You don't have to tape these up. I wouldn't put tape on them because you could rip some of the rubber, rubber away when you take the tape off. I just use cling film. I, mean, I think I do a very bad job at showing you how to wrap it, but that's what you would do. Just put the tire on the floor, wrap it in cling film a couple of times, and it just holds its shape very simply. You don't, it doesn't need any force to be held in shape. See the the other tire is a folded tire in the background as well. And the other, the other one on the top left there, that's a normal tire. You see, I'm making an absolute pig's ear of doing this. 
It's always the same with the uncanny. You, 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 so you can get it a bit tighter than that. You can roll it up a little bit better than that. So it takes up less space. So when these can be posted to people, these can be posted as a small package, you see. If I sent a normal tyre, I'd have to send it in a large package. It would cost more. It costs about £10 to send the big tyre. It costs about £5 to send one of those tyres. So that's where you get your savings from. But you're not compromising in quality. So I hope this helps people decide. You know, the polar tyres are just as good as normal tyres. There's no difference.